<sighs> I'm on a roll today, folks. I'm just going to go ahead and do all these at once. I don't know where this comes from. There's no um, contact information. It looks like it's a page out of a, some kind of calendar. Sunday, May 8th. I see this laying around, you know, where somebody... And apparently the source material is from 3... Uh, uh, Peter 3, 8 through 12. And that's what the subject of this little sermonette comes from. On the other side, it's like in Korean or maybe Chinese. I'm not sure. But there's no information to give you. They don't cite any. So I, I'll just put some uh, links below for other stuff then. Anyhow, I have another one of these. It's the last one. United in Worship. Sounds thrilling. Okay, this 1 Peter 3 8. Okay. That must have been the Peter they were talking about because they didn't have a. Because there's 1 and 2 of Peter and it just says Peter. It's 1 Peter, the first one. All of you be like minded. Be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. All right. Do you like caviar? It's okay, I guess. I'd rather fish with it, though. Um, this fish egg spread is considered a delicacy in some countries and expensive, I hear. In Russia, caviar has traditionally been served when celebrating important festivities and or holidays. Okay, this is about fish eggs. They make great bait if you want to be a fisherman. So if you're a fisher of men, I guess you use caviar. Once I was invited to a Russian-American wedding in Michigan. Whoever this is. Doesn't say who wrote this either. All right. Somehow, the bride managed to find Russian caviar and offered it to all, um, all her guests. You can find Russian caviar. It's not hard. <sighs> to her surprise, not a single American guest liked it. I doubt that. Well, maybe in Michigan. <sighs> Some didn't finish their caviar. Others didn't even try it. Oh. <sighs> How limited they are in imagination that they don't want to eat some slimy... Stinky fish eggs. I've got crazy about anchovies on my pizza. But I've tried it. And if it's free, I'll still eat it. Because, <sighs> you know, pizza and sex are kind of the same, I've been told. When it's good, it's great. And when it's not good, it's still kind of good. All right. Um, even so, the wedding was a wonderful event, so what's your point? <laughs> After all, we gathered not because we were hungry, but to celebrate the couple's love and commitment. And besides, if he's going down later on, it won't change his breath much. <laughs> oh, did I say that? Damn me. <sighs> that was a horrible thing to say. All right. Um, when it comes to worship styles, we all have our preferences. Some like to handle snakes and stuff, <laughs> and and screech out babbling noises and spaz all over the place. You know, and some just like to give lots of money. 
Some prefer traditional worship. Others like more contemporary ways of praising the Lord. A worship style that is not to your liking may seem strange as some exotic food like caviar. I mean, some might not even like these, you know. I prefer a beer personally, but I wanted to try something different. <sighs> but then others might have similar thoughts about your preferences, like they're weird too. And guess what? You're all right. <laughs> all of you are right. The other guy's beliefs are weird and bullshit. They're right about you. You're right about them. <laughs> and I'm right about all of you. You believe in crazy, superstitious nonsense. Good point. Uh, because of worship-related issues and other disagreements, some congregations become rattled by worship wars. I've seen that. I went to a church that splintered twice when I was a kid over little disagreements in how things are supposed to be interpreted. Yeah, I've seen it twice, and I've seen some other heinous shit, too. Worship wars, I've seen them. They're no fun. But they did teach me a lot. As a result, their unity suffers. Yeah, they splinter. Why do you think there's 40,000 denominations of Christianity? Somewhere around that. Even Islam is uh, divided up these days. All right. It's good to remember that we go to church not to enjoy our favorite music, if you're into that. Um, there are concert halls and other venues for that, and I'm sure they sing hymns. Maybe some do. <coughs> True worship is the celebration of our salvation in Christ. Unless you're a Muslim and then they're just plain weird, right? Like caviar. Yeah. And let's not even get started on them Buddhists or them Scientologists or all those other people that have faith in the wrong shit. So they're going to... <laughs> The scripture calls us to be loving and patient with our brothers and sisters so that we can praise God in harmony. And that's the little mini sermon that they got in something, some kind of chicken scratch. Can't read it. Uh, and a little darkened spot here says, Lord, give us humble and loving hearts. Give us strength to love and treasure all people. Amen. And that includes me, doesn't it? <laughs> you gotta love me. You gotta. Anyway, so let me know if you learned something from this, or this, or that. <sighs> Can't believe I did them all. Damn it. All right, well, that's enough for one day. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because, I mean, it's what I want. That should be enough. <laughs>